the new quality revolution can be described as the development of various drivers of excellence in the context of a disruptive work environment and also the delivery of a super excellence in terms of measuring real impact through final uh, outcomes. As figure 10 illustrates, what used to be the pinnacle of success in terms of uh, quality capability is now a basic and fundamental foundation. Driving quality at the core means having an integrated lean philosophy where operationally an organization working in a disruptive environment is already at an optimum in terms of its confidence to deliver on the existing capabilities and also on managing efficiency and effectiveness in everything that it does with total confidence. The next level of building quality capability through the new revolution is to extend and expand the meaning of customer orientation not necessarily through the commodity-based aspects of value creation but to develop mastery in terms of the experience philosophy. The measurement therefore will have to be expanded beyond high levels of effectiveness as main outcomes or the measurement of customer satisfaction only but to ensure that the experience philosophy brings in the new dimensions of quality including emotional and psychological uh, new dimensions. The third level as figure 10 uh, illustrates is the measurement of quality focusing entirely on value generation and value impact from the point of view of its relative consideration which is to configure develop engage deliver and impact and revisit the cycle perhaps with new levels of reconfiguration or new reconsiderations of the likely stakeholders involved in the value creation process in the end the targets that are met in all the key areas are relative targets that only measure from a relative standpoint through cycles of value delivery to the end customer. A higher level required for the new quality revolution is to drive excellence not through um, improvement and optimization but rather through innovative thinking and to use excellence as a, a driving force for creating sustainable competitive advantage and for any organization to use excellence for achieving major leaps in performance, putting it in the top tier of the toughest competitive standards measured in all the key areas. At a superior level, of excellence the drivers would be to manage the ecosystem dynamically through internal and external connectivity arrangements and through building the capacity to absorb new change on a constant basis and disrupt the existing mindset so as to guarantee continuity and sustainability as a philosophy and in order to ensure that the newly defined purpose of a modern enterprise continues to protect its competitive positioning 
and enable it to continue to make disrupt and achieve major leaps in performance in all the key areas. The new quality revolution can support the digital enterprise to build disruptive behavior and measure the resulting impact on a gradual basis. Figure 11 illustrates a maturity model where disruptive business behavior and the consequential impact can be expected. This is proposed to be implemented through various, through four uh, different levels. Level one, starting where the enterprise might be at present, the assumption is that through the previous quality revolution, the enterprise itself delivers at an optimum level, has a solid foundation for managing quality and is impacting through quality, through consistent positive performance gains in its competitiveness. Level two, the shift from managing a quality at the baseline level to one that stretches the organization and puts it at an advanced stage of its competitiveness can be done through integrating the lean philosophy in all the critical areas of value creation and supporting the ethos of continuous improvement through incremental Kaizen based interventions to innovative thinking by the constant drive for identifying and internalizing best practices and building better knowledge on how to improve and how to optimize the value creation operations. This enables an aspiring enterprise to compete at a higher level and achieve positive competitive standards. Level three, at this level, disruptiveness starts to manifest itself in the form of changing at the core and transforming the value creation process itself through innovative thinking. This challenging mindset does, however, enable a disruptive organization to differentiate itself at a significant level and to make major leaps in its competitive performance and its positioning. Level four is to not necessarily transport by absorbing existing technology and adapting the existing business model with its existing purpose and the transformation of value creation, but to entirely create new business models through disruption and introduce disruptive innovation in all the key areas, including the identity of the organization itself. And this puts the organization that is most likely to be termed as a digital enterprise, as a dominant one, shaping the future and leading from the front. The model proposed in figure 11, therefore, introduces two philosophies working in, uh, in uh, tandem and both disruptive in nature. The disruptive thinking mindset which seeks to constantly disrupt in order to protect the existing dominant position or to shape the future and the disruptive mindset for impacting, for 
continuity and sustainability in mind, not necessarily just to survive, but to sustain a competitive advantage through disrupting at whatever level might be required. The journey of super excellence is to drive the establishment of a disruptive digital enterprise through transformational thinking, shifting from an incremental process of inspiring the future to an ambitious mindset ultimately that explores, imagines, and wishes to exploit future opportunities. Unlike the existing quality revolution and excellence models, where the end is predicted in advance by having prescriptive factors of success and capability blocks that can create excellence, the process of super excellence does not have a predictable path or does not have building blocks that can predict the end and lock in organizations towards the obsession of becoming excellent by focusing on fitting the various building blocks of capability and pursuing the desired impact in terms of performance, but rather to look at this continuum from a disruptive transformational mindset where capabilities are not to ultimately create a configuration and a foundation that can be depended upon on a sustainable basis in the long term, but rather to look at relative positions where the achievements can be celebrated, but where the real capability is to absorb new change and drive innovation in all the key aspects to constantly transform and constantly disrupt in order to make bigger leaps in performance and dominate at the highest level possible and continue to build the future by exploring and, and uh, exploiting opportunities. The impact generated therefore in terms of performance is as alluded to in uh, figures 10 and 11 where everything is relative and the mindset of disruption is really what is at the core of driving a super excellence momentum.